assalamu alaikum students how are you i hope that you all will be okay i am saida your subject teacher of biology today we will start chapter number 2 which is about solving a biological problem this is my first lecture of chapter number 2 let's start the first topic is biological method of study a biological problem is solved by using a scientific method which consists of the following steps number 1 recognition of a biological problem number 2 observations number 3 hypothesis formulation number 4 deductions number 5 experimentations and number 6 summarization of results number 7 reporting the results uh, look at the flow chart as you can see in the chart the first step uh, after recognition of biological problem is to make observations and then uh, after observations on the basis of this observation a question is asked and then we make a hypothesis hypothesis is a statement which agree or which is based upon the observations and then predictions are made Uh, these predictions are also called as uh, deductions deductions are made on the basis of hypothesis then uh, the next is experimentation we do experiments to test the uh, prediction or deductions and after that uh, by analyzing the results we are able to see uh, whether uh, the hypothesis which we had made in the third step was correct or not if all the results support the hypothesis then hypothesis would get the shape of uh, results it would be the final result and um, if uh, or is uh, uh, analyzing the results if hypothesis is not supported then the hypothesis would be rejected and then we will make a new hypothesis and we will proceed by following these uh, steps <coughs> next is let's uh, uh, study all the steps in detail now the first step is recognition of biological problem a biological problem is a question related to living organisms that is either asked by someone or comes in biologist mind by himself so what is a biological problem it is a question which may arise in someone's mind or in the mind of biologist then the next step is observations a biologist recalls his previous observations or makes new ones these are made through five senses what are five senses the sense of touch the sense of hearing the sense of smell the sense of uh, sight and um, the sense of uh, taste these are the five senses with the help of which we can make observations about that problem which we had recognized in the first step observations may be qualitative or quantitative qualitative observations are not very accurate and are variable for example the freezing point of water is much less than boiling point and quantitative quantitative observations are more accurate and invariable that is the freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius and boiling point is 100 degree celsius so um, if you compare these two types of observations you can see that qualitative observations um, are not accurate why because we do not use numbers or digits but in quantitative observations we can see that digits are used for example the freezing point of water is 0 degree so 0 is a digit similarly boiling point of uh, water is 100 degree celsius so 100 is a digit so uh, digits are used in qualitative observations that's why they are considered more accurate and invariable the next is <clears throat> formulation of hypothesis it is defined as a proposition that might be true to answer the biological problem it is a tentative explanation of the observation tentative means not final 
it's just temporary and it has this hypothesis has the following characteristics number one it should be a general statement it should be a tentative idea tentative means not final one it may be accepted it may be correct or it may be false number three it should agree with observations meaning that the hypothesis should be based upon observations which we um, had taken in the second step right fourth is it should be as simple as possible and number five it should be testable and falsifiable how can you test it you can test a hypothesis through experimentation and by the by analyzing the results uh, this uh, hypothesis can be rejected or it may be accepted the fourth step is deductions what are deductions deductions are the logical consequences of hypothesis for this purpose a hypothesis is taken as true and expected results which are deductions are drawn from it it involves the use of if then logic for example if mosquitoes are involved in spreading malaria then plasmodium should be present in mosquitoes so as you have seen while making a deduction from on the basis of hypothesis if then logic is used as you can you have seen in the example the next is experimentation biologists perform experiments to see if hypothesis is true or false the incorrect hypothesis is rejected and the hypothesis which proves correct is accepted two groups of organisms are made so while doing an experimentation we make two groups of organisms uh, first is the control group and the second one is experimental group what's the difference between them let's see <coughs> a control group uh, includes all the organisms which are provided with all the necessary factors uh, for their better growth but an experimental group is that to which all factors are provided except for the one which is to be tested let's take an example if we want to test the necessity of carbon dioxide for photosynthesis we will make two groups of plants one group which is considered to be the control group will be provided with all factors along with carbon dioxide and the second group which would act like a experimental group it will be provided with all the factors except carbon dioxide meaning carbon dioxide will not be provided to this group experimental group by the end of experimentation we will see the effect of absence of carbon dioxide on the experimental group so this is how during experimentation we uh, make two groups and after that we proceed next step is summarization of results a biologist collects actual quantitative data from experiments quantitative means Um, uh, the use of digits and uh, numerals right numbers are used digits are used data is analyzed statistically and results are drawn seven the last step is reporting the results biologists publish their results or findings in scientific journals and books what are scientific journals these are the scientific magazines which are published periodically throughout the year and um, this is a way or it's a medium through which a scientist is able to publish his findings and then what happens after publishing the results meetings and seminars are arranged in which discussions are made upon the results and people would get a chance to verify the results let's see the next thing now we will study malaria as an example in which we will follow all the steps involved in biological method of study first was the recognition of biological problem and what was the problem 
Malaria had killed more people than any other disease so this problem should be solved by finding the cause and transmission of malaria second observations so when the problem is established then the observations were made four major observations taken about malaria were number 1 malaria and marshy areas have some relation number 2 Quinine is an effective drug for treating malaria. Number 3, drinking marshy water does not cause malaria. Number 4, plasmodium is seen in the blood of malarial patients. Then the third step, formulation of hypothesis. The hypothesis made for malaria was plasmodium is the cause of malaria. Deductions were If plasmodium is the cause of malaria then all persons ill with malaria should have plasmodium in their uh, blood so uh, in this deduction you can see the use of if then logic okay then experimentation was made and ha how uh, it was done blood of 100 malarial patients was examined under microscope for the purpose of having control group the blood of 100 healthy persons was also examined under the microscope then what were the results summarization of result all patients had plasmodium in their blood while 7 out of 100 healthy persons also had plasmodium in their blood so plasmodium in the blood of healthy persons was in incubation period that time it was not known that plasmodium uh, uh, is in, in, in uh, was in incubation period it was later uh, studied and uh, found out the hypothesis plasmodium is the cause of malaria was proved true or correct then reporting the results the results were presented before biologist they verified those results then the next course of study started a new question was raised how does plasmodium enters into the blood of a malarial patient so this was the first question this was the new um, uh, problem which uh, had to be solved the answer of this question was investigated by following the steps of biological method of study by different scientists this is how we can use uh the uh, biological method to solve any uh, scientific or biological problem by following all these steps <coughs> now uh let's see the short questions which are related to this topic first is name different steps of biological method of study draw its flow chart number 2 define hypothesis write its characteristics number 3 what is a control group an experimental group describe with an example number 4 write four observations taken about malaria while its course of study number 5 define deductions describe briefly <clears throat> so girls uh, i think uh, you have understood the topic and now you can very easily answer all these questions you will do this work in your neat copies and then you would send me the images or photos of this work and i will return it after checking thank you so much allah hafiz